Hi, I'm L'Oreal, and on this episode of Nerdy Mind, we're traveling back in time to a place where dire wolves, saber-toothed cats, and mammoths roam the earth. No, we're not visiting the Starks in Winterfell. We're here in downtown Los Angeles at the Page Museum. Now, one of the best things about the Librea Tar Pits is that they're totally accessible to the public. You can just wander in off the street and boom, you're right here at the site of a famous archaeological excavation. Now, one of the things people are a little bummed about when they get here is that there's no dinosaurs. Well, as prehistoric as the tar pits are, dinosaurs were already extinct for 65 million years. Now, the tar pits are created when crude oil seeps up through the fault lines, which has been happening for tens of thousands of years. Now, in 2007, 200 different species of bacteria were discovered that are actually living in the tar pits. And as you can see, there's a lot of bubbling and simmering going on over there because the bacteria that live in the pits are actually consuming the petroleum and releasing methane gas. Using forensic science to study the bone damage done by what are now the also fossilized beetles and termites, they were actually able to determine that most of the animals died during the summer months and that they were probably floating on the pit for about five months before they became submerged. That's some pretty good CSI, considering all this happened about 18,000 years ago. So if you're going to take a nerdy trip in Los Angeles, be sure to visit the Page Museum and the La Brea Tar Pits. You'll see prehistoric camels, mastodons, and plenty of dire wolves. But unfortunately, no Rob Stark. <laughs>